everyone, so today I'm going to do a review on the MAC Viva Glam Nicki Minaj Lipstick. It's a very bright pink. I have it on my lips right now, and over it is just the L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm in plush. It looks like that. So it's basically clear with just a little bit of a light pink tone. So this is pretty true to how it will look. I put it on pretty heavily because I don't like this sheer. I like it um, with you know a little more oomph because I just feel like that's what this lipstick does. Um, I think this is the perfect lipstick for spring. Um, I have been wearing this a lot in the spring season because I just think it's perfect. So that's what one swatch looks like. But I think this is a really great lipstick to wear. Um, you know, especially if you're like me and you like the neutral eye all the time and you want a pop of color but you don't want to go overboard on your eyeshadow, then this is a really great way to add that pop of color, especially for spring and summer because it is so bright and it's a very bright pink that just stands out on the face. I think it's perfect for someone that's my skin tone and a little bit darker would kind of do the same thing. If you're a little lighter than my skin tone, I'd say be careful because obviously, you know, brighter and heavier lipsticks um, may be harder to wear for you. I even have problems with wearing very bright, very statement lip colors sometimes. So um, if you're much fairer than me, then I'd say maybe just try this sheer first. Um, and if you're darker than me, I don't see why this wouldn't work for you because this is a very like opaque lipstick where it just it goes on and it kind of cancels out your lip color by itself. So, you know, I think this would work right on anybody. This is a limited edition lipstick, so I'm not sure. I think they still have it in stock. Um, I Unfortunately, I got around to reviewing this and I think it's around the end of its run. But you can probably find it online several places. Just be careful that it's not fake MAC products. As you can see, it has the Nicki Minaj signature. And it's the red tube, so you know that it's Viva Glam. And this was... This was, I believe, $14.50 at the MAC counter. You can get this at MAC counters or MAC stores or online, maccosmetics.com. And, you know, I'm not usually one to spend that much on a single lipstick or anything like that, but I love contributing to the Viva Glam fund because everything that you spend on this lipstick goes towards AIDS research, which I think is so important. I think all those kind of research programs are important because we need to find cures to these devastating diseases. So that is probably my hugest motive to ever go out and keep buying these lipsticks because if you've been following me for a while, you know I also have the two Lady Gaga Viva Glam lipsticks, one Lady Gaga Viva Glam lip gloss, and the Cyndi Lauper Viva Glam lipstick. So if you want reviews on any of those, because I think I did them all, then um, links will be down in the description box. But basically, I think this is a really good lipstick. I think unless you're into matte lipsticks though, because I personally hate matte lipsticks, I think, you know, a gloss is the way to go. I just think it should be shiny. I mean, yes, if you're on a photo shoot or there's a certain way you have to have your lips and it has to be matte, that's one thing, but my personal preference is to have a, a sheen and a shine. So if you're looking for that built into this lipstick, you're not going to find it. This is a very matte lipstick and I actually didn't think it would be when it went on, but if you look at it, 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 it is a pretty matte lipstick. Um, I recommend putting a lip balm on before you even put this on because it could dry out your lips if you just wear this alone. Um, I usually use my little EOS lip balm, and this is in strawberry sorbet if you're wondering, um, but I just apply that first, and then I put on this lipstick, and then I usually pair it with my L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm in plush. I just think they go really good together, and I don't really want a tinted lip gloss that much, or a pigmented lip gloss, because I want to keep this color true. Um, 
But that's basically it. Those are my thoughts on this lipstick. I think it's a really good cause. I think it's a good lipstick all in all. Um, I just don't like the matte feature. But you can work with these things, you know? Just use lip gloss. So, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you have this, if you like it, um, all those good things. I hope you enjoyed this review and it was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.